Guys, it's just hit me. I'm a CEO. So I'm back from work and I've just come home to an email to say that the logo's finished. I'm so excited. Um, it looks really nice. Um, we came up with the name last week, um, which obviously you guys know what it is. Um, but it took a while uh, and I'm really, really happy with the name. Um, and so uh, it took about another week for the design of the logo to come through um, but I really like how it looks and yeah, uh, today is a big day um, because now I can uh, submit it for trademarking and apparently it takes about three months um, for approval um, because it's really there for uh, anyone to object um, so someone could see it and say um, I object to the name or the logo or both um, and it gives people that time uh, time frame to do that um, which I find is quite a long time I mean if you think about you know going to a wedding you know people ask about objections and it only takes three seconds but a brand apparently takes about three months um, but yeah it's a milestone and a step forward um, so I mean today is just gonna be me um, applying for the trademark um, and what I'll probably also do as well is apply for uh, the business so just to start the business as a limited company um, so I'm gonna go through all that um, not sure if that's something you guys are interested in uh, I would personally think it would be helpful something fun to see what goes on behind the scenes um, and what it's like to start a business. I mean, it's the whole point I've created this channel um, because I just wanted to document my journey, but to share my journey as well um, for uh, anyone out there, you out there, whether it's entertainment, whether it's for learning, whether it's for just being interested to know what goes on in the background. So I'm trying to register the business um, and start a limited company but I'm already stuck. <laughs> um, it's basically trying to ask me about what the company's doing, but it's supposed to find a code, which, I mean, if you have a look at this, there's like so many different codes and obviously all of them don't apply to um, like clothes, um, but it's like, I don't know, am I a manufacturer? I don't think I am. You know, there's manufacturer of, you know, women's outerwear or women's wear or textiles but I don't think I'm a manufacturer am I so it must be like selling but I don't think I can find selling it's so weird look at this look at how many codes there are so I've emailed uh, HM Revenue and Customs and apparently someone will get back to me within two working days which means I probably can't work on it anymore today um, but I've also emailed the team so hopefully someone might get back to me before then and I can carry on with the application so the day can't get any better um, I just got through the post um, the fabric swatch so the fabric swatch has arrived <gasps> I'm so excited um, oh gosh it actually feels really nice um, this is the, I wanted to obviously go for something that would high VPL and so um, the thought behind it was that it probably needs to be like a certain thickness but also I didn't want it to be too thick that it would cause issues obviously you know if it's too thick and heavy it's really not comfortable um, and so we're trying to find that right balance of it not showing anything but um, thick enough um, to also be comfortable um, well, thin enough to be comfortable uh, when you wear it um, and this fabric I really like um, it's basically a double brushed fabric which means it's um, kind of uh, felty like kind of soft 
um, on both sides because some leggings are um, a bit shiny on the outside. I don't know how you say it, but it's it's like those. Um, you know what I mean, right? Like it's it's more smooth on the outside, um, but this is um, feels more like cloth. So uh, I would think it would feel more comfortable, like it's um, like more hugging and more I guess soft on the skin. Um, I think it'll feel really, really good. Um, this is also uh, in 320 GSM, which is basically the thickness. I like the stretch is so good. It's crazy. Um, the fabric is 70% um, um, recycled polyester and 30% spandex. That's the uh, uh, composition. I appreciate um, sort of obviously with fabrics and things, I really want to do my best for the environment um, and try not to use anything that would cause even more harm already to whatever's already out there, which is already a lot. Um, and this particular fabric has uh, uses reprieve polyester, which is basically made from recycled plastic bottles. Um, and so um, I just try to use sustainable sort of fabrics as much as possible. The difficulty with athletic wear is that, um, of course, there are other fabrics like uh, organic cotton, you know, wool, things that are a bit more natural and can be um, biodegradable. But the difficulty is that with athletic wear, you kind of also want it to perform. Um, so you want the stretch, you want the comfort, you also want it to um, be able to sort of moisture wick uh, when you're exercising and things like that and not feel too stuffy. And that difficulty with athletic wear is that if you've made something out of pure organic cotton, you basically lose the function of it, um, uh, of being it sort of an athletic wear. So that's the slight difficulty and that's the balance we have to deal with. Um, and so I'm consciously trying to balance um, sustainability with performance because I don't want to make something that A, doesn't suit the purpose um, and B, um, which means B, it means more waste. So try my best um, to really find that balance and I think this is a good start. Um, and obviously, you know, I am just a startup so a lot of it also comes down to cost because I am using all of my savings limited. Um, and so I'm just trying my best to do my part. But hopefully, and I will, you know, hopefully if the company grows and I hope it does, um, that that could be constantly be uh, innovation for me to think about and will always be in the forefront uh, of me when I make my decisions. But so far, um, this is a good start and I really like the fabric. Um, so hopefully we're going to see how it comes out first with the designs and things um, and then go from there. But yeah, so excited. Um, it's just, it, this feels real. I mean, yes, it's real, but this just today makes everything feel so real um, that it's really happening. And like I spent probably three months um, from sort of planning and thinking through the whole thing to then doing all the research um, finding a manufacturing company um, to, to all this uh, took about three months and it you know it's 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 been a journey even though it's only the beginning um, but to be able to finally get some sort of results and feel like we're actually moving um, feels kind of surreal uh, just excited and just a lot of emotions but um yeah, can't wait to see how this all unfolds. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, just rambling now, but I am so excited. I'm really happy. I can't wait. We'll keep you guys um, updated. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you because, you know, why not? You guys are family. Um, so I just really want to show you everything, every little bit of thing I can. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys. Uh, in a little bit. 
Hi guys, I'm back from work. Uh, it's the next day because I didn't manage to uh, register anything yesterday. Um, the uh, HMRC didn't get back to me, but my team did. Basically, I need to register... No, basically I need to get the right SIC code, the SIC code which I showed you yesterday. Um, and I think the one that I picked was the correct one. So um, I need to do that first before I then register the trademark with the company name. Um, so I'm just gonna do that now. Guys, I did it. I've registered my company. Whoop, whoop. Now I just need to do the trademark application um, I think I can do it now right um, even if it's not been confirmed yet I mean my company's not been confirmed yet um, I can try no harm trying I think what I've learned um, throughout the years and really even just more so starting a business is that you know just go for it. Just take the next step and there's no harm trying because that's the only way you know whether you would make it or not. Whether the result you expect is what you get or if, or even more. Um, so that's the mentality I have with dealing with things. Um, everything's learning. A learning curve and that's what's exciting about life um, you know it get, I mean, you get too comfortable you just start to get too comfortable and it's just not so much fun anymore uh, so no matter what happens you just gotta learn learn from it and keep going but tell me what you guys like to do um, on your spare time free time or um, just generally it'd be nice to know um, what you guys like to do, where you're from, where you're tuning in from, um, what your experiences are, and really, you know, this is just all a bit of a learning platform for everyone. Um, I want it to be helpful for you, and really, I want to learn as well. So, if you guys have any tips, you know, any of you out there who has run a business before, or has been part of a business before, or um, created something before, anything like that, just put it in the comments um, because it'd be really helpful for me and uh, it's just a nice way to connect but also just to share experiences and I sh I'm sure a lot of other people will find it useful too. So please do, if you've got any words of wisdom, any little nuggets, um, any little things you think would be helpful, um, nothing is too small, um, please do put it down because I'm sure it'll benefit a lot of people, um, including myself. Okay, so during that small amount of time that we are having a chat, the company's been registered already. I got the email that said, wait two days and we'll send you a letter or an email. It's literally been like, what, 10 minutes? <laughs> That's insane. Anyway, so company is now registered. And so we can apply for a trademark. Gosh, this is so cool. I mean, just reading this, congratulations, your company is now registered. I mean, how cool is that? It's like little things that keep me going. <laughs> um, so let's apply for trademarking. Let's see, where's that email? I literally just closed the window. That's so funny. I was like, ah, you know, can't do it anymore. Let's just close the window, come back to it. And then I get the email that it's ready. So funny. So I'm like, ah, should have just stayed on that page. Hey, anyway, I am so grateful. <laughs> you know when they um, ask you to check your details? Do you guys have like a little bit of a panic when you do that? Because I always feel like, oh my gosh, I need to like triple, quadruple check it um, in case I get something wrong. 
and it gives me like this little sense of panic that I'm just gonna submit like, you know, the complete wrong name as if I can't spell my own name or, you know, I think I'm someone else. I have this like slight panic. Uh, let me know if you guys have that too. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but let me try and just, Whoa! just knock my light down because, you know, lighting, as it gets a bit dark in here. But if I flip you around, okay, look at this, like, look at this, class 25 is what I need, but look at this, sports, like, all. look at all of these types of clothing, like, could you not just put clothing? <laughs> because there's so many things, so many options, why do I need to choose so many options? And do I take them all? So I'm basically applying for the trademark now um, and I've basically, as you can see, clicked everything. <laughs> um, the class, if you're interested to know, the class you need is 25 for apparel and clothing. Um, and basically, you know that massive list that I showed you earlier on? Um, it's basically asking you sort of what uh, you think your um, brand is going to sell. And I basically just clicked everything on the list because it's kind of like the, you know, FOMO kind of uh, thought of, you never know what's going to happen, are you? Um, so anyway, I basically clicked everything just because you can, or you can only do the application once and you can only apply for the trademark once. So you might as well click everything because in case things expand, you have no clue um, what you're gonna end up selling or doing, so I just clicked everything. Um, and then the type of trademark you need is basically a standard trademark. <gasps> Guys, it's just hit me. I'm a CEO. Crazy. I need to let this sink in for a bit. Um, <laughs> It's just... <sighs> you just get the emails and it's just, it's all black and white and you're filling a form in and you're like, you know, you get an email saying it's registered, but the weight of the actual thing only just hit me. <sighs> Like it's a big responsibility and it will be moving forward but it's such a win at the same time and it's such an exhilarating feeling to be able to just realize and that you're about to achieve something or you have achieved something and there's a lot more to come I'm just excited and I hope you guys are, because you're family and, you know, I wouldn't be doing this without you. I wouldn't be doing this if you weren't here, um, because I have this vision and this mission. And, you know, every single ounce or little bit of support means a lot. Um, and really, I just want to give back as much as I can as well, sharing my journey, sharing my feelings, just recording this whole thing. I mean, I don't know what this is going to turn into. Um, I hope something amazing, because that's what I have in here and in here. But the world's, you know, unpredictable. Life is unpredictable. But I always remember that the world and life is happening for me and not to me, and every time I have an opportunity every time I go through something, I give thanks. I am grateful for what it teaches me. I'm grateful for the positives it gives me. And even if it's negative, it's a gift. It's a gift from the world. It's a gift from life to make me someone stronger. And this is just another journey that I hope whatever it gives, I'm sure will be giving something good. But yeah, it's just so exciting. And 
words can't quite describe what I'm or how I'm feeling right now. It just can't describe this whole thing. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I really don't have, don't know what to say apart from what I just said. But I thought I'd just share with you guys the realization um, and just how grateful, happy, I don't even know the feeling, overwhelmed but with joy. Just, just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.